Hey guys, Wells Knight here, and welcome back to another episode of Expedition. And in today's episode, I want to do a little bit more with Aura Cascade. I, specifically, I want to get into the Vortex Crafting, which is a pretty cool mechanic. Um, but before we can do that, we have to make a whole bunch of these arcane ingots. So they're not too hard to make. Um, basically, we're going to need for the Vortex Controller five of the red ones. So, to make those, we basically just grab, uh, let's actually get this guy going as well, there we go. We just grab some wool, and some ingots, and then when this thing is all done processing, and with the two pumps, it's going to go a lot faster, it'll craft into those ingots, just like that. Super, super easy, not difficult at all, right? Then, for the Vortex Pedestals, those are super easy too. It's just Lapis surrounding an Aura node, so piece of cake there. Not too, not too challenging uh, for that aspect of it, okay? So, uh, let's see, do I actually have any Aura nodes made? I do not, it looks like. That's okay, that's alright, we'll make more. No big deal. Let's just grab some stuff, there we go. And aura nodes are gold nuggets surrounding redstone. Uh, let's actually make a handful of those, I think. There we go. And then for the vortex pedestals, which we will need four of, we go like that. Okay, so there we go. There's that part. Now, let's just see... Those are still crafting up. That's all right. It looks like it's time to take a nap anyway. Let's take a little bit of a sleepy here. There we go. And awake. Okay. So here we need a diamond, which I happen to have. And then as soon as these guys are all done processing, looks like there's maybe two more left to go. I'm going to toss another piece of wool there because I only see one. How how close are you? Very close. All right, let's pick this stuff up and see. Oh, we've actually got the five. Awesome. That's all of them that we needed. That's fantastic. So five underneath, diamond there, gold on top, and bam, we've got the Vortex Controller. Now, this thing is pretty cool, and it has some really interesting mechanics associated with it. Now, we're going to need a space where we can actually set this guy up and where it's not going to interfere with our other Aura Cascade stuff. So, I'm thinking maybe over here. This, I think... Oh! I I just went into the Twilight Forest. That was... That was not intentional. That was an accident. Accidental travel to the Twilight Forest. That's probably a first. Yeah. Okay. So, let's see. We've got over here... Hmm... I'm, I think if we put it, like, right here, we should be good. Or, maybe what we'll do, maybe we'll get rid of this ugly thing that's been here for a while. And actually come up with a use for, uh, for this space. Let's do that. Let's do that. I like that plan better. We're gonna basically tear out a space here for our Vortex Crafting, and we'll turn this into something a little bit more useful than the random space thing it is right now, because right now it looks pretty bad anyway. Let's just, let's just admit it. Let's just admit it. It doesn't look good. So we'll do that. Okay. Now, if we come into this room, random diamond hoe. Okay. Duly noted. Uh, let's just do... A little bit of that. I just kind of want to lay out how far the room goes. Because I, I still want to keep the shape of this room. We're just going to repurpose it into something different. That's kind of the plan. So let's go like that. And then maybe this one will tear out as well. And these guys. And I suppose maybe we'll tear out these ones up here, too. And maybe we'll replace, like, stone... Uh, maybe we'll put, like, stone brick stairs 
up here. That could actually look all right. Let's just make a few of those, and we'll just go one, two, three, four, five. And that way it doesn't look quite as, like, derp. It doesn't look as bad. Um, and, oh, come on. Get, eh. There we go. Yeah, that looks better. Okay, awesome. So we got that going for us. Now, is there anything in these chests? I don't think so. So if we tear these up, it's not going to matter. They can be torn up. Oh, there was some stuff in that one. And then we've got armor stands here from Chocolate Quest, which we can also grab. And I think that should be good. Okay. Now, does this wall right here, does that lead outside all the way? I think it does. Is it a too thick wall or is it a one? Really? If I could just not fall off for the 7,000th time, that would be amazing. There we go. So I'm thinking we'll tear this up as well. Just right here, turn this into, maybe we'll turn this into a one thick wall. I mean, that'll give us plenty of space. So I think that's probably a good idea. Oh, I'm tearing up more of that wall than I want to right now. That's okay. And then we'll tear these little chunks up as well. And we've got plenty of stone brick from tearing all that up. So we'll just fill that back in. There we go. That looks pretty good. You unfortunately need to go because you're in the way. Come, come here. No. Not, not in, oh, my inventory is absolutely packed. Okay, that's fine. So, let's see, right, how much space am I going to need for this? Uh, if we put this guy here, we put the four vortex pedestals around it like that. That should be enough space. I'm pretty sure. And then we'll have... Those going there. Oh, actually, you know what? I'm, I'm wrong on one thing. The pumps actually go here. Because these pedestals technically count as nodes. So we're going to go up. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I think that'll be high enough. And then we'll go... Like that, those make the connection, which is good. That's what we want. And then we're going to connect these guys in much the same way. There we go. And then we need to get rid of all of this stuff. There we go. So... Basically, that is going to keep these nodes from interfering with each other. And that's really important, uh, because if we don't do that, this isn't going to work properly. So, we're good there. Now, I need a few uh, of the pumps. Now, the burning aura pumps, I don't think they're going to cut it for this. I think we're going to have to uh, go with something a little bit tougher. So, I'm thinking what we'll do is we'll go up, the, we'll go up to the next step, which will be the illumination pump. And for that, we're going to need glowstone and yellow ingots, and I'll make four of those. And then we'll swap them to the alternating ones so they can put out more power. I think that's probably a good idea. Uh, and let's grab... Uh, tell you what, guys, it's going to take me a little while to make these arcane yellow ingots anyway. Let me just get some stuff organized. Let me get this, this stuff together, and I'll come back to you in just a little bit. All right, guys, I am back. So we've got a bunch of these arcane yellow ingots made, and we should have everything we need now to go ahead and make the illumination aura pump. Now, we do need burning aura pumps for that as well. So let's go ahead and make a few of those. Now, let's see. I'm going to need some redstone, and we'll just make a handful of these guys. I think four is how many I need for the burning pump. Is that right? Yes. Okay. And then I'll need a little bit of lapis too. Good, good, good. Okay. So burning aura pump, I will need four of those. And then we can go ahead and make those into those guys. There we go. 
for illumination aura pumps. Now basically, these are just like the burning aura pumps that run on coal. The only difference is that they have a higher output uh, as far as outputting aura, and they also run on torches instead. So if you throw a torch down here, it'll consume that and it'll spit out a lot more power uh, than before. But that's still not going to be enough power for this thing. So we're going to actually further transform those guys into alternating illumination aura pumps, like so. And what these will do is essentially they will kind of uh, get stronger, and then they'll get weaker, and then they'll get stronger. Uh, kind of, uh, think of it sort of like a tide, I guess, would be the, the easiest way to explain it. Um, let's also make some torches here. I don't need that many. Let's make, like, well, actually, this is probably fine. Um, so, if we take those, and we plop them down, one, two, three, four... We can keep these things going for a while by just putting torches on the three sides of them, and they'll go through the torches one at a time until they run completely out. Uh, so not too bad. Now, now that we have that set up, we can do some pretty cool things with the Vortex controller. We can make some pretty nifty stuff. So there's a few things that I'd like to get into. I think the first thing would probably be... Hmm, that is a good question. What to make first? Tell you what, let's take a look at the aura, the encyclopedia aura, and let's see if we can figure out the best thing to make first. So we've got um, quest special colors. Here we go. Accessories. Let's take a look at these. And the amulet of the angel's wing is pretty quick. It'll basically um, let you like teleport up and down between layers, which is pretty cool. Uh, the Amulet of the Forbidden Fruit will give you a random effect uh, whenever you eat food. So I don't think I want to jump into that right now. Let's see. Portable Black Hole, Prismatic Wand, Copy Structures. That's kind of interesting. That could actually be kind of cool for some things. Sash of the Angel's Heels. This thing is super awesome, actually. So basically what this will do is it will let you pretty much run up walls. So, like, if I run up into this wall, I would pretty much be teleported to right here. It basically gives you, like, infinite step assist. So I think that's probably going to be our best thing to make first. Uh, so that is the heel. Here we go. Sash of the Angel's Heels. And for that, I'll need four feathers and an arcane prism. Now, arcane prisms? Kind of hard to make. There's definitely some stuff that goes into that. Uh, let's see. Let's see if I can find accessories, special. Hmm. <laughs> let's just do it this way. Arcane. Why, why I know see arcane prism. Pump. Oh, it's probably down here. Here we go. Arcane Prism. So combining eight arcade gems of different colors with the cascading processor. This thing over here is the cascading processor. So I will need four gems to make that, or all the eight gems. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six of the arcane gems right now. So arcane gems. No? Oh, here we go. So it looks like I still need green and blue? Green and blue. Okay. Now, to make the arcane gems, that's where the vortex controller comes in. So let's start off with green. Let's grab, uh, let's see, three of these guys. Actually, we should have plenty of that stuff. So we're going to need three green, one, two, three, and three blue. There we go. And if we toss those up against this, so go, uh-huh, 
and then one, two, three, four, five, six, like so, and then give it some coal so those things can process. That will give us our uh, things that we can then use here in the vortex controller. So I'm going to go one, two, three, four. I'll put 4,000 green aura into each of those. Did I, Oh, I put 5,000 into that one. Ah, eh, whatever. We'll just... We'll just kind of share it. <laughs> it doesn't really matter. Um, I don't think the illumination pumps can transfer that much aura at once anyway. So it's not really going to be a big deal. Um, but... Well, those are processing, we can prep some other things as well, because there's going to be a lot of stuff that goes into this. So let's see, we're going to need two diamonds, and a lot of this stuff I can actually just put away. And I've actually got a bunch of these arcane yellow ingots now as well, which is awesome. So I'm just going to throw those. I had a bunch in there already. Oh, I could have saved myself some time. Oh, well, it's fine. Not a big deal. Let's just put that over here. And I no longer need the lapis, so that can go away. Cool. And of course it's getting to be nighttime. That seems to be how it always goes. All right, let's take ourselves a little nap. And I'll wait for those things to process up, and I'll be back with you in just a sec. All right, guys, I am back. So the first set of ingots has been processed. So these things take a while to make. So we're going to go one, two, three. Three, you just right click when there's, uh, you just right click on the pedestal and then a diamond there, okay? And then we'll just start dropping torches next to these things. And then to make sure that this thing keeps going and that I don't have to babysit it, we can just drop more torches down like that. And when necessary, this thing will make more torches. Now you can see this thing is filling up with aura uh, and it's filling up relatively quickly so once this is all done we'll have ourselves a green arcane gem the one that's going to take forever is the one with the diamond on it because that guy yeah yep that thing sixty thousand aura it requires so it's gonna take a little while but that's okay that's okay that'll give our other ones time to smelt up all the way so we should be good. Now, as far as the arcane prisms go, there's a lot of stuff you can make. You can make the amulet of the angel's wings, the sash of the angel's heels, bookshelf coordinator, prismatic wand, the prismatic processor, which is essentially the cascading processor, but way better. Um, I, I believe it. Uh, what, what was the difference? I forget what the difference was. Whoa. Oh, arcane gem. Is that thing done already? No. No, 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 no. Okay, I think the quest completed because it noticed I had one in my inventory or something. I don't know. Either way, doesn't really matter. Uh, let's toss a little bit more coal at you. This thing is coming along. Actually, that thing's going to be done pretty soon here. Cool. Um, but the cascading processor, or is it the synthesizer? No. Ah, there we go. Arcane gem complete. Fantastic. So that thing's all finished up. And now we're just waiting on our blue gems so that we can combine all of these into an arcane gem. Now, let's see. Let me just look at a few things. Um, arcane prism. Here we go. Cascading processor. That was this one, right? Yes. Good. They can combine. We should be okay. So I think everything should be good. As soon as this thing is done filling up with power, we can get started on the next step. So I'm going to get some stuff together here, guys. I'm going to wait for a little bit to let that finish processing, and then I will come right back to you. All right, guys, I am back. So we've got all of our gems now. So now we just need to combine them in the uh, cascading processor here. And I think... I think that's all of them. Yeah, there we go. That gets us our arcane prism. And that thing is pretty sweet. So let's grab a couple of feathers out of here. Tell me I have feathers. Do, oh, oh, okay. I was really worried there for a sec that I went to all that trouble and I didn't actually have feathers. But we can combine those and make ourselves the sash of the angel's heels, which I think can actually go right here. And then... Check this out. 
No? Oh, there it was. If you just hold while you're, well, basically, while you're doing stuff like that, uh, or while you're running or whatever, if you just kind of hold up against the wall, you'll just kind of teleport up to the top, which is pretty cool. Like, there's some really cool things you can do with that uh, if you play your cards right. Could be very useful for a lot of different stuff. So I think that is definitely going to be something that we'll want to keep on us. For now, I'm just going to keep the Sojourner's Sash uh, as my, like, main sash that I wear all the time, simply because it gives you that speed boost while you're running around. But still, that's pretty cool. That's pretty useful. So let's go ahead and make a couple more of these arcane gems, and that way we can make another one of those arcane prisms because I think I want to make the prismatic processor uh, that basically does the same thing that this guy does. It just does it a lot faster. I think that's probably a good plan. So once again, I'm going to let those turn into the proper stuff, and I'll come back to you in just a little bit. All right, guys, I am back. So we've got this thing on the way. It's almost finished. However, you're, you'll notice this power dropped all the way down. If you look at the phase power there in the bottom, it's going up now, but it dropped all the way down to zero, so this thing wasn't moving for a little while, and then finally, after a while, it went back the other way. That's what I was talking about when we were uh, discussing the alternating uh, pumps and the differences between them. So, let's see if we can get a cool screenshot of this as it transitions. Oh, I, I timed it wrong. I can't math. It's okay. Uh, still has about another 10,000 to go. So I'm going to let that go for a while. I'm going to go ahead then and make the blue arcane gem and make another one of those prismatic prisms or arcane prisms, and then I'll come right back to you. All right, guys, I am back, and we have ourselves another arcane prism, which is super awesome and very, very useful. So I think what we're going to do with this one is we're going to go ahead and make the prismatic processor right here. And for this, we're going to use a regular cascading processor. And I'm going to make another one of those because if I remember correctly, the prismatic one has way, way, way higher power requirements than your standard one. So I'm just going to go ahead and make, uh, oop, wrong one. There we go. I'm just going to go ahead and make a new one. And there we go. That'll actually give us some rewards. One cool thing about Aura Cascade actually is if you're using the Encyclopedia Aura and you complete the quests here, you'll actually get rewards for it, uh, which is pretty cool. So, like, we just completed this quest, so we got eight iron ore. Kind of cool. Let's you do some pretty nifty things. So, that's all good. Now, oh, and actually, I got, I have two arcane prisms. I think I got one of those as a quest reward as well. That's pretty awesome as well. Awesome. Okay, so, yes, we want to go ahead and make the prismatic processor, which is done just like that. And I'm going to go ahead and put that guy right here. And we'll just see. Oh, yeah. It definitely gets enough power. Okay. So we're going to actually use this guy then instead. Because in, it does the same thing as the cascading processor. But instead of having to progress 60 times, it only has to progress 9. So that's a pretty significant difference. I mean, that's that's a huge reduction in the time requirements uh, needed to do some of that kind of stuff. So um, definitely a big benefit there. Now, I think we have this one, we, we have this, this arcane prism still that's just kind of lying around. We could make one of the rituals, but I don't think that's really necessary. We could make a bookshelf coordinator. That's kind of an interesting thing, but we've got applied energistics too, and I want to get into that in the near future. And then we could make the prismatic wand. And I'm kind of thinking the prismatic wand is probably the way to go. So, oh, actually, you know what, though? I just remembered. I think, if I recall, there's some jewelry that you make in the, uh, oh, maybe not. I seem to remember there's some jewelry that gets made in the, um, the, the Vortex controller that requires an arcane prism, I think. 
I'm trying to remember. It's been a while since I've used Aura Cascade heavily. The last time I did, I think, was Banished, when I played Banished, and that was a while ago. So, hmm. I don't know. But there's all sorts of cool stuff in here. Maybe we'll just hold on to it for now. Uh, we don't really need the other thing at the moment, so maybe we'll just hold on to it for now. And, uh, you know, as time goes on, we'll figure out what we want to use it for. But guys, I am definitely out of time for this episode. So if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave me a comment. I do appreciate it, and it really helps out my channel. You can also find me on Facebook, Twitter, and Twitch. There are links in the video description below, so check that out as well. Otherwise, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll definitely see you next time.